Hi, I'm Lauren from LSP Actions and welcome to the video tutorial for the LSP string light overlays. After downloading from the LSP Actions website, you'll notice that the download is a zip folder. This is a compressed folder. Photoshop won't be able to read this folder, so what you need to do first before you do anything else is unzip and extract, and then you only need to do this once and you can keep the string light somewhere safe. It's just like opening the mail. So I'm going to right click on this, I'm in Windows, and hit Extract All. If you're on a Mac, you can double click or use the Archive Utility. Just make sure it's, un it's unzipping to a separate folder that is open, like this. And you'll notice inside you have String Light Applicator Actions, these are a free bonus, and you have 20 string lights. I'm going to show you really quickly first how to add these without using Actions. Beautiful image here by Amy Knowles at Slinky Photography. This was actually edited in one of my earlier tutorial videos for the LSP Christmas Magic Photoshop Actions. And you can get these also on the LSP Actions website. So there we have before and after editing with the Photoshop Actions. Now I'm going to show you how to add the string lights manually by hand and then I'm going to show you adding with the actions and some extra tricks you can do. So you choose your string light overlay, this is if you're doing it manually, and you can just drag and drop over your image. You'll notice it has a black background. At this point you can resize if you want to. Up here on the blend mode where it says normal, choose the drop down and hit screen. And this will make the string light show. At this point you can reposition if you want to. Hit enter or the little check and your lights are in. If you want to paint the lights off anywhere, for example if they're coming over your subject's face, come down to the bottom here, the little rectangle with a circle in it to add a layer mask. I'm using Photoshop Creative Cloud here. Click on a brush, change it to black, and that means you've added a mask, you can paint this off anywhere you don't want the lights to show. That's how you do it manually, now I'm just going to remove that. Let me show you how you do this with the actions and getting the actions in. So to install the actions in Photoshop, you can double click, you can drag and drop, or you can go through on LSP Actions website, I've got a manual um, installation video tutorial. You can use that to, um, to install the actions if you need to. I'm just going to double click these. If you don't have your action panel open, it will look like nothing's happened. So come up to Window and choose Actions. And you'll see the string light applicators have been added at the bottom of your action panel. You can stay on grey editing mode, you can click an action here, the LSP actions to play have got a little triangle next to them and you can hit the play button to play it out. Or you can come up to button mode, if you're in elements you won't be able to have button mode, it will just look like that um, and your play button will be at the top instead of the bottom. Button mode means the actions are coloured, I've colour coordinated all of them for you, I'm just going to drag this into a neat column. If your actions aren't free floating, if for example they're at the top of your layers panel, just grab where it says actions, pull them free floating, the little um, double ended arrow on the side and just drag them in so they don't look all crazy like this. I'm going to bring this all the way down to the bottom to find the string light applicators. Let's make this a bit smaller and neater so we just have the string light applicators here. Now the first thing you're going to want to do now, now these are in Photoshop, they'll stay there. Just like you've unzipped the string lights, they'll stay unzipped. These are things you only need to do once. So there's two um, options here. There's number one, string light setup. You have to play this one first um, for best results. And then if you want to add any more string lights after that, you can play number two. So play number one. And what this is going to do, it's going to open up your folders to locate the string light you want to add in. Make sure you're opening the unzipped folder, not the zipped one that you downloaded. You can kind of get rid of that if you need to. Now I'm on Windows, it might look a little bit different on Mac screen, but make sure you can access the JPEG files. So you can go through the string lights and you can decide which one is going to be added um, to your image. I'm just going to click on this one for now. At this point you can, um, you can drag, you can resize, you can position them however you want to. For example, these ones, we could do them coming up on the corner like this a little bit and add it again on the other side. Hit enter and you don't need to change anything. The actions are playing out and doing everything for you. you get this notification up with a few instructions and you can see the string lights have been added in there with a blur. I'm just going to make these panel, um, the actions are a little bit, the layers are a little bit bigger there so you can see what's happening. So you will have a group that's been added. This is your string light group. You have paint on glow. You have the string lights you've just added in with the blur underneath and you have paint dark underneath. If So if you're adding on a lighter background and you find they're just not showing very well because these are much better on a dark background, um, you can paint some darkness underneath them. 
The string lights again have got a layer mask. If there's any way you want to take them off, you can do by using a black brush. The glow, if you click on this one and change your brush to white. I'm using 100% opacity, 23% flow, nice soft brush. You can add a little bit of glow in there. You could also make the brush um, smaller by hitting the square bracket key or by right clicking to just take the size down. On elements, your brush size um, will be down the bottom. And you can add this kind of glow to them too, if you wanted to. So let's go ahead and add another one. Because I'm adding a second one, I'm going to play number two, add extra string lights. Oop, my fault there. So let's play number two, add extra string lights. And we could add the same one that we've already added in, or you can add something different. I'm just going to change this a little bit there. Come around and decide where you want to add these in and hit enter. The action will play out and you can see we've had the second lot added in now. Just using a black brush just to calm this down in places. And again you can paint on using the glow layer that's already there with a white brush. And just click this on if needed. Paint dark underneath. This is if you, I said, if you've got a lighter background, you can use a white brush on the paint dark layer, and that will just paint some darkness underneath. Now you have um, some extra actions I've added in to click and edit the string lights. If you want to, always click on the particular string lights you've added before playing, or it's just going to kind of add it to somewhere else. You don't want that, so make sure you click the string lights. I've just added these ones, clicked on these ones here on the left. Um, sorry, these ones here on the right click on these ones here on the left, they were the first ones we added in. You can add more blur to them, you can whiten, you can brighten, intensify, you can make them more golden, and you can change the colour. So let's see what more blur does. If I hit more blur, you can see they've gone very, very blurry. The blur is underneath on its own mask called Gaussian Blur, so you can turn these on or off. See there, with and without the blur. You can also double click on any of these and you can change the blur manually yourself if you wanted to. Depends on your image and your resolution. Don't make a try, I've um, selected the string lights. You can have whiten, which we paint on. You can see there, it's whitening the tone of the string lights. Can you see? I'm gonna click them again, have brighten, which will brighten them up. You just click and play, paint them on. Uh, brighten, sorry I've already done that, intensify, does exactly what it says on the tin, and you can turn these on or off with the eye icon, golden, again that, that's just if you, you know, if they're not, if you're using one that isn't particularly gold and you want it golden, colour magic, what if you want to change them to, I don't know, barbie pink or something, so you can just paint this on, colour magic, and then you can come over here to the colour magic layer, and double click this little box, this is the hue and saturation box, it will bring it up to your screen and you can just slide the slider and change the colour to anything you want. I'd imagine for string lights you're going to want them kind of gold or white but you never know, I mean you might be doing some kind of very pink edit, you might be doing a very greeny blue edit, so you can change that, it's a little bit of fun if you want to. At the bottom here you have bonus string light vignette, let me just zoom back out again. And what this one will do, it just adds a darkness around the edges to just make your string lights um, reflect a little bit more. So let's go ahead and add string lights to another image. And this image has got a much wider background. This one here was also edited using the LSP Christmas Magic Photoshop actions. We can see there before and after, and you can watch the tutorials for those actions um, over on the website if you want to. I'm just going to take these off. Okay, so let's add string light set up here. I'm going to play the first one, play first and set up. And let's find the string lights we want to add. Now this background is a lot lighter um, than the other one. So the string lights are naturally going to appear lighter on this image. How about we go for this one, string lights number one. Let's add that in, just double click, the action's playing out. So the string lights have now added and you can see they're a lot lighter um, and calmer on this background because it's a lighter background. 
if you have a pure white background they're not really going to show at all um, so the darker the background the better to get that kind of that natural glowing light so I'm going to click on the paint dark underneath and grab a large brush set to white and just click around a little bit and you can see this is changing the feel of the image completely now also play the string like vignette as well just to add even darker edges in there and perhaps a tiny bit of glow set to a white brush and just paint this on see we've just added them in completely different vibe to the image let's do another one Beautiful image by Cat at Dinky Dots Photography. So play uh, number one, string light set up, hit continue, and let's do um, some vertical lights for this one. How about we choose these ones here? Nice and sparse, nice and gentle, and I'm just going to put them as if they're coming from the top here. And they're just playing out now on the action, hit stop black brush has been selected so I can take this off the subject skin really really easy really simple you also take it off any areas um, that wouldn't be you know if it's coming over the foreground anything like that I'm going to use the paint dark um, switching to a white brush over here just dabbing a little bit of darkness behind I'm also going to add a little bit more blur to these string lights here just inching it up a little bit if you go too much they become really blurred so you just want to get the right amount of blur for your image and at any point you can hit Control or Command T on your keyboard and that's going to bring up the movement box so you can drag these around if you wanted to just to kind of reposition if needed for example then maybe they're only just coming over here and again on the mask with the black brush just take it off the faces you can put these anywhere you like um, just tailor them about to suit your image let's do another one lovely shot here by Libby Edwards photography so I'm going to hit string light set up hit continue and which one should we do how about this one here let's put them all the way across as if they were above the subject now these are sharp now but the uh, the action does blur them out a little bit of glow a little bit of dark and how about we change the blur so we can have them completely solid the string lights all have different um, levels of blurs I'm going to play golden as well just to gold them out a little bit just so that makes them adapt to our image a little bit more these are just such fun to play with and add that real element of Christmas magic to your images lovely shot here by Henry to Gomez photography so how about we add the string lights set up first this is unedited, you see I've got halfway through cropping this one here. Um, unedited here, you see I have the light stand in, but it's so lovely out of camera, I just adore this backdrop. So, string light set up, play first. This background is lighter, so we know that the string lights are going to be quite pale on this background. Which one should we go for? How about 13? 13 is a real wild card, I love this one with the blue bokeh in it. This is great if you're putting these right in the background really really pretty this one and hit stop and you see that's added that kind of lovely bokeh effect to it just going to brush this off the subjects and again you can change the level of blur to suit your image paint dark with a white brush I'm just going to dab this just a tints behind them how about we add another string light layer to this one so I'm going to add number two add extra string lights Ooh, my fault again add extra string lights and let's choose another one how about some hanging down lights for this image here let's go for let's go for 15 here 
The great thing about these, you can add them in and if they don't work for your image, you can delete them. Let's go there. Now these are going to go right over the subjects, as you can see. So the black brush is already selected. And if you want, you can bring your flow and hardness up a little bit to just take this off a little bit faster. I just don't tend to change the flow from my normal editing flow. So we've really sparkled up the background on this one. And again, we can paint on glow by switching to a white brush. I recommend bringing your flow back down for this one. And you see we've completely changed the vibe of the image by adding those sparkly lights in. Cute shot here by Smile Photography by Patricia. Let's come into that one. String light setup, hit OK. What string lights shall we add to this one? How about straight across? Hit OK. And that's it. I'm just going to pay a little bit of darkness underneath by switching to a white brush. And perhaps change the blur on those. You see they're very, very sharp at that point, so I'm just going to blur them in a little bit. And a little bit of glow. So I can't wait to see what you do with these, um, these string lights. You, they're just the options are limitless really with these once you've added them in you can just keep playing and playing you can add lots in if you're if you're not keen on them you can just turn it off and you can go again string light setup so for example this one let's add something completely different let's add string lights 18 with the reflections underneath with this one you want to make sure it adds up with your um, backdrop and wall kind of um, horizon line there and the black brush means we can just paint this off our subjects this one does have some reflection in so you're going to want to make sure that you paint that off in the right areas too example it would not be showing under our subjects and you're going to want to just soften the edge with the black brush a little bit if it doesn't reach all the way down to the bottom of your image like this just coming across so it adds just a completely new dimension to the image doesn't it this one and again a little bit of darkness I'm on a really high flow, that's why it was looking so dark, so I'm just going to bring my flow back down. If you're in elements, uh, you can't change the flow, but you can change your opacity. The lower the number, um, the less opacity your brush will have, so I'm just dabbing that on. So, two very, very different looks with these string light overlay actions. I do love the reflections on this one. You can get these over on the LSP Actions website over on lsp-actions.com and you can also find the Christmas Magic Photoshop actions, you can find tree lights, you can find all sorts of things to completely add the magic to your Christmas mini editing this year. So enjoy! I'm Lauren, thanks for watching.